Hey there, Aaron here with Arctic Campers. In this video, we want to do a quick how-to on operating your Truma furnace and hot water tank. So your first step is gonna ensure you have gas flowing through the system. And of course that's done with having a propane tank uh, mounted and installed at the front of your trailer here, whether it's a 20 pound or a 30 pound bottle. Um, this is a, a 20 pound bottle sitting here as an example. Um, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you have the fitting on the top of the bottle threaded in nice and tight um, so that you don't have any gas leaks happening. Uh, unnecessarily and then you're going to go ahead and open up the valve at the top of the propane tank to open up the flow of propane gas into the gas system step two is making your way to the back of the trailer where the truma is housed on the left here you're going to see a yellow gas valve uh, when it's positioned horizontally that means it's off so your step here is to Turn it vertically to ensure that the gas valve is turned on and we have a flow of gas into the Truma system. And then at the top of the Truma, there is a toggle switch sitting right up top here. So you're going to turn that on and then this turns on the 12 volt ignition power uh, running to the system. So after this, we can head inside the trailer and turn it on from the thermostat. Okay, so now that we've entered the trailer, here is your Truma uh, hot water tank and furnace thermostat. And as you can see here, this is just displays the time as normal, uh, but that'll be reset to 12 o'clock every time you turn the power to the trailer on or off. So your first step is going to be just touch the button here. These two buttons here consist of a return button on the left and then a knob that actually can be depressed as a select button. So this is gonna be like confirm or select when you push it, or you can rotate it to change the selection on the menu. So one of the first things you can do is down here, Second icon from the right on the bottom as it's flashing here is when you select it, this is to set the time. So you can go ahead and select the time as you uh, have it on your cell phone, perhaps. And you can actually go into the settings on the right here to um, set it if you want it like 12 or 24 hour clocks. So you can go here and do that as well, just as an FYI. But to get to actually operating the furnace, you have two main icons on the top left corner. The first one here is an icon of what appears to be like a motorhome with a thermometer on it. That is the furnace. The one on the right, you can see the squiggly waves. Think of the squiggly waves as water. And so that is a thermometer over water, meaning the hot water tank operation. These two systems can be run independently from one another. So you don't have to worry about turning one on or the other um, to get them to both work or work individually. So the first one with the furnace, just select and rotate your desired temperature that you want to maintain inside the trailer so a good one for sleeping at night let's say is 18 degrees celsius um, just hit the button and you're done it is now selected to operate at 18 degrees celsius and the furnace should turn on and start operating after this you can go over to the fan icon this is to operate the fan speed and so there are two settings while the furnace is on is either eco or high my preference is to operate as high so you can get an appropriate amount of circulation of the air inside the trailer versus eco which just pushes the air out of the vents at a very slow speed and it kind of just trickles up here versus pushing out air so it can circulate nicely onto the sleeping space up on the bed once that's turned on or if you wanted to run the hot water tank separately you can go over to hot water currently it's off and turn it on to one of three settings eco hot or boost eco is something you're going to operate on 99 percent of the time this is sufficient for the amount of hot water used in like a kitchen sink even taking showers is, is good enough on eco getting into hot or boost is if say two people want to take showers back to back and you're probably going to want to throw uh, all the power the system has to heat water as fast as possible or if you get to camp and you really need hot water like right now you could turn it over to boost um, and it'll heat the water pretty quickly Generally, it's about 20 minutes to half an hour to heat a, uh, the, the hot water tank on board with cold water, the 10 liters or 2.7 gallons from room temperature or whatever the temperature water is that you filled it to, to it's like hot temp, uh, it's like 20 to 30 minutes. So in this case, select, go to your eco, select again, done, it's on. Some of the menu options on here when pressing the button uh, include a timer on the bottom. So this will allow you to set the timer of when you want the furnace to turn on or off. The clock setting. And the little wrench icon is the general settings for the system. 
And so selecting that, um, a lot of this is for actually like advanced technicians. So offset, to be honest, I don't even know what that means. Um, Truma technicians operate that. But you can set your temp settings, uh, like the readings, if you want in Celsius or Fahrenheit. And there you would just depress again to select and you're done. You have the brightness of the screen when it's on. You have the ability to switch between a 12 and 24 hour clock. Uh, language selection, which I'm assuming for the most part is going to be English, other than those in uh, certain parts of Canada might want to switch to French. And index again is for advanced settings for the technicians. But reset is another uh, setting that you might want to be aware of just in case you run into any faults with the Truma system. The, one of the most uh, common faults is running out of propane gas or you forgot to turn the propane tank valve on. In which case you would come in here attempting to turn on the furnace and it'll give you an error code like E241 or some code like that. And the furnace will, even if you go outside and turn on the gas now, um, the system will not reset itself or learn that the gas is now on. You will have to come in here, hit the wrench, go over to reset, hit it. PR reset is like, are you sure? You hit it again and it'll read like initializing and the whole system is resetting. And then you can go ahead and start turning on your furnace um, as you normally would. So there's a quick rundown of the Truma system. If you have any other questions about this, you're of course more than welcome to reach out to us directly or you're provided with a Truma Combi manual uh, with every trailer that's sold. And you can go through there and look at any uh, uh, data or information on that form too to answer some of your questions. Hope that helps. Take care.